Sub guys, today we're going to learn about the Python 3 bin or binary built-in function. Before we open the shell, let's uh, take a look at the binary table. So just a reminder, 0, 0, 1 is 1, 2 is 10, 3 is 11, 4 is 100, etc. Um, so let's open the shell and start passing a bunch of stuff to the binary function. Um, we do the 1, 2, 3, we were looking at and you'll see um, there's this prefix of 0b but then we have the 1 10 11 100 and so pretty well reflects the table um, binary only accepts integers that can be positive or negative numbers but if you try to pass say a float that's not going to work if you try to pass a string that's not going to work if you try to pass say a list that's not going to work so we're really talking only about integers the one exception to the integer rule would be hex and oct numbers so say we took the hex function ran that against 4 we see it's uh, 0x4 um, so we could throw that into our bin function and we see that that works um, one little gotcha is you can't just uh, you can't just straight up run the hex inside the bin. Uh, the reason for that is because the hex is returning a string. So when we uh, put it in the bin, we need to take it out of the string out of the quotations. I suppose it's important to note as well that bin returns a string. Uh, so we can check that by running the type against bin and uh, we'll see that it it returns the class of string. Um, coming back to the 0b prefix, um, that might not be useful for your needs. So I have one little trick for you guys that you can implement, and it's actually with the format function. Um, but since it's binary related, we'll talk about it. So if we uh, add the secondary argument of hash b, you'll see that looks the same as the bin function. But if we do just b, it returns a one. Um, and if we do that on the four, you'll see it's a hundred. If we do it on a hundred, you know, all kinds of binary numbers. So that's a quick trick that'll help you guys. Um, thanks for watching the video.